She's a musician from Berlin and she makes amazing music and amazing videos and you can choose what to ask her. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, so cute. Look at these visuals. Look at these videos. Just press the buttons of what you want to ask and let the games begin. If you could explore space or the depths of the sea, which would you choose and why? Um, I am going to space for sure in this, between these two options. Space, potentially completely infinite, could also perhaps contain a sea. Uh, I don't know what's out there really. I've seen the moon, I've seen some stars in my life, but other than that, I do not know what's up there. It's just space, infinite space. And I would definitely be interested, if given the opportunity, to go there. Observe Earth from afar, get some perspective, also then just kind of embrace embrace the space. I'm also afraid of going too deep underwater and I cannot breathe there. Although I cannot breathe in space either. So I would probably need a space or gills or whatever. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, show us your oldest and most loved piece of clothing. Okay, I have it right over here. This is a blue bunny sweatshirt, probably worn by my older brother and myself at some point. And I still actually do wear this occasionally, but there's a there's some holes in it, and so I'm trying to preserve it, and I think I should probably not actually wear it because I love it so much. But yeah, it's some blue, some blue bunny sweatshirt. Oh yeah. Um, I've never used one of these before, but I'm, okay, so I'm gonna design my dream stage outfit, which will involve some wings, or optional flying. Okay. And then, let's see, I'm gonna need some little sensors that of course can be controlled by some kind of MIDI controller so that everything on my body can change color and texture. And then I'm gonna make a groovy kind of hat here. And the hat, it's gonna be like a, like a screen. So we have some projections appearing above my head. And then some shoes, some kind of hover shoes. And there's some wheels there. I'm not flying and it comes all around. Yep, there we go. I am, there's my clown suit.
That looks great. And good at drawing. All right, so the next question. <clears throat> Ugh, big, big one. <laughs> Oof. Um, well, where to begin? I think the fact that Corona happened and everyone just had to be Together, we dream. Cutting edge technology that allows us to share and explore our dreams. Whoever you are, whatever you do, never stop dreaming. Start sharing your dreams today. We dream. What is one of my favorite memories on stage? Well, it's been a while. This has been a strange year, as you may know, as you may have experienced as well, um, not including any live shows. So let me harken back, go deeply into my memories. Um, I played so many really great shows. Um, not too many, not too many. But, but I think my one of my favorite ever favorite live shows was in Paris, um, opening for Wise Blood at the Moroccan Re venue, which I love very much. Um, and I had a really great sound engineer. It was completely packed, and for an opening band to have a completely sold out audience is pretty special. I had no, I had no merch released at that point. My album wasn't out. I was just giving people rocks for free and seashells uh, if they spoke to me after the show. So yeah, I, I remember going on stage and just looking out into the audience and seeing it was full of people and felt this energy. It's hard to explain sometimes when a live show just, there's this crazy exchange of energy between yourself and the audience. And I just felt that, yeah, really strongly at that show.
And make sure you follow Discovery Zone. We have some links prepared here and there for you. Also let us know what you think if you want to see more. Go on Instagram, follow us, follow us everywhere. And have a good day. Bye. We love you. Mm.